All right, welcome to another series called Poker Tools. And in this series, I'm going to talk about the various tools I use uh, to evaluate play, evaluate players, to track performance, so on and so forth. And the first tool is one I've been using for years. It's called Poker Cruncher. And it's a, it's a hand range. It does a lot of things. It, it, this does a, a, it's a, it's a, a pretty extensive tool. There's other versions of this that are free. I like this because it's, a, you know, it's an iPhone app, application as well. And I've just used, I'm used to this interface and I'm used to the using this. So essentially what this application does is depending on where you at in your game, the amount of things that you can do with this tool is extensive. Everything from, you know, really, really advanced EV calculations and figuring out, you know, what's the dollar sign value of a specific play to just, you know, for very beginner players, just randomly um, playing around. So for the beginner players or somebody who's never used a tool like this before, uh, what this does is it's it's based on a simulation. So th this runs something called a, a Monte Carlo simulation, which just basically runs something over and over and over again. So for example, if we see how you know aces do against you know pocket tens, and we s calculate it, we'll see the numbers start to slowly change because it's running a Monte Carlo simulation, as you can see down here. So you know 81 to 18 percent, and some beginner players just don't really have a good foundational understanding. I don't think you need to be so crazy with the numbers, like you know, oh, I know a pair beats at 81 and a half, or 80, and this number will change. So it's like 82 to 18 percent of the time, but you should have a general familiarity with you know how often hands do, and and really like especially with multiple players in the hand. So like if there's five players in the hand, and let's say you know one person has aces, you know a person has tens, and the, the, these three players could have any random hands you could calculate it, right? And that's pretty amateur, pretty, um, pretty basic stuff. Where this tool really comes in handy is basically not just seeing how well a hand does against another hand, because you know, in poker, you don't know. If you have ace-king, you're not sure your opponent has ace-queen or ace-jack or whatever. You don't know what they have, but you're hopefully actively putting them on a range of hands. And that's what these, tool do, these tools do really well, right? So we can kind of say like, all right, I think our opponent has ace 10 plus, we can add that, and then we could add like maybe tens plus, and then we can add like king, queen, king, jack, and then maybe king, queen, queen, jack offsuit. We'd probably also have some of this here. And what we can start to do, is basically analyze um, our opponent's play to see how it fits into a specific range of hands and then actually run calculations based on that. So there's really extensive things you can do with this, but I don't know how, um, where everybody's at. I, I think I'll maybe in, in later series, I'll take you through like a really, a full breakdown of a hand using this, um, using this software. But if you've never used it before, I strongly recommend it. It's my preferred tool. There's a couple of other options um, if you don't want to use this. Ones like Flopzilla, there's Combinator. Uh, there's a couple of different ones. I, I bet you there's some free options as well. But this is definitely a tool that is in any good poker player's arsenal. And it's really good, not for in-game analysis. I mean, you're not doing a lot of this stuff in-game. But after, an, after you're done with the hand, like really thinking it through, thinking if you made the right decision or if you didn't. It's a tool everybody should have. And I just really wanted to make you guys uh, aware of it, those of you who aren't. For those of you who are, I'll do some complicated stuff in this and show you. But I need spreadsheets and I need more time. But that, that's for a later day. Okay, that's about it. Uh, any questions or comments or recommendations or any uh, tools you want me to review, please uh, comment below.